All right. So today we have the video of the portable computer that I was going to um, make a video of when my power ended up going out. Um, but this is a Toshiba T6600C from about probably 1993, maybe, 94. Um, it's a 486 computer, and looking at it from the um, camera there, it looks like a, just a big laptop, but um, let me lift it up here, and it is not a big laptop. It's actually a luggable computer. It does not have a battery. Um, Basically, it could be probably considered a portable desktop computer. Um, this is, I believe, a 486. Um, I actually used to have two of these. One of them had the screen was destroyed. Unfortunately, I tore it apart and scrapped it, um, which I should have kept the destroyed one as well because I would have used that for what I'm going to use this for. Um, but anyway, we'll get to showing on this. Here's the front of the case. Top front, the front has a little push the handle in, it pops out. Um, two stereo speakers and the volume control in the center. Um, on the right hand side of the computer we have the power or power switch, um, floppy drive, and CD-ROM drive, uh, which is actually a caddy load drive. Um, actually, it's a um, writable, recordable caddy drive. I did not realize that. Um, but I don't have a disc with a caddy right now. Um, I have some up at my parents' house. Uh, I'll eventually bring one down and I'll do a little demonstration on those. Um, and in this slot, I think we have PC slots. Don't remember. No, we actually have expansion card slots. I believe there is two 16-bit expansion slots inside here. Um, and this one, as you see, has a network card in it. So let's move around to the back of the unit. We have our power adapter, or power connection. Standard three-prong computer-style power adapter. And this flips down and snaps into place down here. And we have our standard ports. We have uh, uh, PS2 mouse port and keyboard port, VGA port, serial port, parallel port, uh, microphone, audio out, audio in, speakers, and a SCSI port. Yes, a SCSI port. This has onboard um, SCSI controller. I believe it's an Adaptec onboard um, chip and that is the CD-ROM drive is a SCSI CD-ROM drive. I don't think the hard drive is. I really don't remember to be honest. And on this side here we have our PC slot which is a single Type one or Type two PC slot that can be take that can take a um, hard drive. This is the cooling fan here. Actually, I believe there's two cooling fans. I think there's one on this side and I think there's one on the other side. Um, but here is our memory card door. If I can get it open, there. And let's pull these out. Let's set it down and I'll pull these out. Yeah, this thing weighs probably about 15 pounds, 
20 pounds maybe. doesn't have ejection buttons for the memory cards so um, oh you grab them from the side that's why all right okay here's the memory cards and um, they are a PC card style card and um, this is a 16 megabyte card. This one's an 8 megabyte card. They're DRAM memory. Um, this one's an aftermarket. This one... EXP MCII. I guess that's an aftermarket card as well. Neither one of them are actually Toshiba cards. Um, so that's 24 megabytes. I'm not sure what the total is. I don't remember if this has any onboard memory or not. Um, yeah, it's heavy. Um, so let's flip it open. It looks like it's going to have a pretty decent sized display, right? Nope. <laughs> It's only about a 10 inch LCD um, display. I know it's not on camera, I'll have to move the camera. Um, but you can kind of see it there. This is, I, this is a backup software for Windows NT with no disk in it. I'm not sure why that's in there with it. Um, but anyway, here's the actual unit. It has a full keyboard which is removable. This part here I'm not sure what's under that. I don't remember. We'll take that off and see later. But let me adjust the camera so we can get a shot of the screen. There's the screen. Looks like it could have possibly been a much bigger screen, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna shut the light off and see if we can power this thing up. Haven't tried it in quite a few years. See if it'll focus on the screen there. Okay, I'm going to pause this because I'm going to have to lock focus and uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, so lights are off, focus is locked. Uh, we're going to see if this thing will boot up here. Uh, I've got the keyboard back behind the computer with me and I've got this old AT&T branded uh, Logitech PS2 mouse connected up to it, which I don't know if that works either. Uh, I just found that in my parts bin. Um, so let's power this thing up, see what happens. Cooling fan start up. Anything coming up on the screen? Oh, screen's coming on. Oh, 1993. Okay. Let's see if it'll do a memory count. Hard drive starting up, Adaptec ASWB626S2 BIOS, that's the SCSI controller. Error in CMOS, bad checksum, check system, then press F1 key. No, oh, that's probably because the battery's shot. Uh, let's try F1, see what happens. All right, memory. Oh wow, it actually has uh, 49 megs, 50 megs of memory. Um, okay, VGA compatible display adapter, hard disk, 510 meg. 
serial port, external floppy drive. Oh, the um, parallel port can be con configured to either a um, printer or a external floppy drive. Processing speeds high, cache enabled, turbo cache present, display auto off in 30 minutes. SCSI configuration, system speaker. All right, power on password, not registered. Um, okay, let's try just hitting end and see what happens. Everything looks to be correct. Save settings and reboot, yes. And let's see what happens. Okay, now it's doing a memory test. Oh, it's only going up to 16 minutes. Hmm. Interesting. Bay at the BIOS was saying 40 minutes. Hmm. Which is that this thing has to have some sort of internal memory. Okay, Windows NT server. Please select NT detect checking hardware. OS loader. Windows NT4. Stop error. Oh, nice. We blue screened already. Restart and set the recovery options. Okay. Control out the elite does nothing. Alright, power off. And let's power back on again and see what happens. Let's try to get back into setup. If anything, maybe we should at least get a keyboard error <laughs> with all that. <laughs> nope. Um, so let's try pulling these cards out and see what happens. Eight megs of RAM. So technically this thing should be coming up saying that it has 32. Don't know why the BIOS was reporting 50. Well, let's see if NT will come up without the memory cards in it. NT, it makes a memory, one system processor. No, we haven't blue screened yet, so that's a promising. Maybe I had the memory cards in backwards. I don't know. In the wrong way. I don't think I wouldn't see why it would matter which one's in where, but who knows. Or for all I know, the 8 meg card here is bad. I don't know. like it's actually loading. Cool. Oh, and we have mouse movement. Cool, the mouse works. 
NT server 4.0. Why server would be installed on this, I don't have any idea. Control up delete to log on. No idea what the password would be on here. Administrator, let's just try enter and see what happens. System could not log you on. Okay, let's try something else. It's interesting trying to use a mouse upside down. All right, well, I got that sorted out. Uh, it appears that one or more of the keys is a bit um, iffy on this keyboard, and when I was typing it, it was actually typing two characters. Um, we have an error message. What's that say? Time or date is invalid. Okay. I wonder what it's telling us that the time or date is. Be interesting to see. My briefcase, network neighborhood, inbox, Internet Explorer. Probably version like two or something like that. This is basically NT4 is basically the Windows 95 interface. Wow, that's old. <laughs> Help. About. Version 2.0. Nice. Let's close that. See if... See if we can get the um, system information up here. Mm. Accessibility, console, devices, network, SCSI. System. Tape devices. Yeah, UPS. Haven't seen those in, in quite a while. Oh, I guess I did install this. I don't remember doing that. Eight megs of byte of RAM, 486. Before I cancel that, um, I don't know if this Why? Why would it have opened that up for system information? Who knows? Let's see if it has the old Microsoft Diagnostic Program on it. MSD. Okay, M doesn't seem to work at all. Cannot find. Okay. Cannot find sys info. Alrighty. Um 
cancel. Let's see, start programs. Administrative tools. Let's see if there's anything under that. System policy editor, user manager, performance monitor, event viewer, disk administrator. I'm just trying I think this is a 66 megahertz uh, processor in here performance monitor it's not really showing much of anything um, but yeah uh, there we have it Toshiba T6600C running NT server 4.0 um, on 8 megabytes of memory um, down yes it is now safe to turn off your computer bye bye